Hello, I am Jennifer Gravison and welcome to 20 Minutes. I have a very special guest here with me today, director and producer, Bale Radcliffe. Bale has spent the last decade working on the best in cinema, including the award-winning film, The Donkey and the Elephant. Bale, thank you so much for being here with me today. Thank you for having me. So, Mr. Radcliffe, the question I'd like to start off with, I'm sure our audience wants to know, why are your films so successful? Well, Jennifer, I think my films succeed because people are looking for answers in a time of crisis. Take the donkey and the elephant, for example. People were having struggles during the political turmoil, but it brought them peace. That may be true, but didn't your film make a lot of money? Wouldn't that mean that you are profiting off of others' misery? Honestly, I did make a lot of money. But in the end, people were happy. Look, I just learned that the joy of the moment will help me succeed during the darkest of times. Yes, well, you certainly do inspire others. Now, the next question I'd like to ask hey, Peter. is... Hey, Peter, we need you on set. Okay, okay, I'll be right there. Come on, Peter. Shooting starts in 10 minutes. All right, let's do this. Here and he wants to talk to you. The Bell Radcliffe? Well, yeah, I don't know of any other Bell Radcliffe. He's here now? Oh, Peter Davis, isn't it? I, uh, I saw your film at the Palm Springs Film Festival, and I was impressed. I saw so much potential, and that's why I'm here. I take that compliment highly coming from... I would like you to come work for me. I'm right now co-producing a film that I think would fit your style of work. Perfect. Sounds great, although I am in the middle of working on a film of my own right now. Uh... I see. I'm assuming you're both the director and the producer. Here's what I can do for you. I can come on as a producer and help you finish your project. But that's entirely up to you. You're the boss. Can I shake your hand, please? Only if we have a deal then I would say we will have many more profitable adventures. Alright guys, we're shooting in five minutes. Hey Peter, can I talk to you? Can't this wait until later? No, it can't. Well, we're already running behind schedule, so make it quick. I, I'm really tired of this. For the past week, you've kept us here past time every single day. And with no crafties either. Yeah, well, it's not my job to feed you. Oh, right. It's Bale Radcliffe's. It must be so nice of him to sit in an office all day, schedule breaks, provide food. Oh, wait. That's his schedule. Bale's the producer. It's his job to make sure things get done on time. Yeah, well, if it weren't for the crew, nothing would be getting done. Hey, if you want to critique Bale, you have no idea what he does as a producer. It's very generous of him to work on my film. Really? Is it even still your film? I quit. What? Well, go ahead. Um, right? 
gap with? The girl who does the gap or just quit? Did he now? Oh, Peter, not to worry. We can replace him. But it's a sh it's a sheet, not a... You know what I've learned, Peter. I concern myself more with my film's success than losing sleep over whatever's going on right now. Crew members are so easily replaceable. It's no big deal. Yes, sir. But didn't you want to say that being in the moment helped you get through things? When did I... Oh, yes. That interview. Well, I don't know about that, really. The moment you'll really come to enjoy is when you see the box office sales. This is a rather small party. Yes, I heard that most of the crew ended up quitting over the last couple of weeks. Some difficulties with the director, I believe. I saw the box office review on your new film. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. oh, let me get another drink. has proven to be quite a financial success. I'm looking forward to working with you more closely in the future.